So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use WhatsApp in your Rightboot events. Now, the way that I've implemented it is I'm using WhatsApp Web. Now, WhatsApp Web runs in a web browser on your PC and lets you connect a WhatsApp account so that Rightboot can interact with WhatsApp during the event. So the first thing you have to do, and it's usually a one-time operation, is to connect Rightbooth's web browser, which is the integrated web browser. You've got to connect that to a WhatsApp account. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. So let's just come out of this event. And you go into settings, social media, and there's a new tab here, WhatsApp. Now, at this point, you want to be going to the WhatsApp linked device. So let's do that. Now, Rightboot runs the WhatsApp web in the integrated browser. And here you can see what you have to do. So get yourself a phone and install WhatsApp on it and run WhatsApp on the phone. So let me do that here. Right, so follow the instructions on the screen, tap the menu and select linked devices and then link a device and next you have to scan the QR code that's on the screen so let's do that now as you can see my phone is connecting to the WhatsApp web on my PC You can see I've now got one active device, which is Google Chrome on Windows. That's actually the right booth web browser that we're seeing here. And you can see on the PC that I've connected up to my account, my personal account. Now, it's probably not a good idea to connect to your personal account. Maybe you should get yourself another phone number, which is dedicated to this right booth uh, WhatsApp activity. But there's nothing to stop you using a personal account. I'm actually using mine at the moment for this demonstration. So once you've got a WhatsApp web connection to a mobile device, click the OK button. Now, the other thing you have to do in here is to put the mobile number in that you've just linked to. So I'm going to put it's my personal phone number here. So I'll put that in here. So that's a one time operation unless you want to change the linked device, of course. Um, but for now, I'm just linking to my personal mobile uh, and to the WhatsApp account, to my personal WhatsApp account. You might have to enter a country code in here as well for this all to work. I found in the UK that I don't have to do that. There's more information about that here if you need help. Now, if you are running a right booth version 7.9.1, you will see some extra options on this panel. The first one is the choice of host browser. Now, by default, Rightboot uses the integrated web browser, which is based on Google Chrome. That's this option here. But I've added the option to use Microsoft Edge as the browser. Now, the reason for that is that Microsoft Edge can handle uploading videos to WhatsApp as video files rather than documents. And you'll see why that's important later. So if you would prefer your videos to be uploaded to WhatsApp as video files rather than documents, then tick the Microsoft Edge option here. So let's just do that. Rightbooth tells you that you might need to redefine your WhatsApp link device. So if you switch browsers here, you may need to reconnect a link device. Here. The other option is this message text box. Now you can add text in here, which will accompany the uploading of files to WhatsApp. OK, so once you've got your linked account set up for WhatsApp, you can then start adding WhatsApp functionality into your Rightboot events. So I'm going to do that in this event. Let's have a quick look at it. Now, it's a standard recording event. We've got record a video or take two photos. We have a countdown screen, recording a video screen, taking a photo and thank you. Now I'm going to add WhatsApp into this. So let's come out of here. You go into the designer event structure and you'll see that there's a new section here files to WhatsApp. So let's click that. 
and you have a choice like you do with emailing files or using the phone and SMS feature, you can choose to add WhatsApp for videos. I'm going to ask the user whether they want to add, whether they want to send their videos to WhatsApp. And I'm also going to do it for photos as well. Let's come back out of here. Now that adds some more screens into the event. Let's go and have a look at what it's done. So if we now look at the list, we've got, obviously we've got a video options screen let's have a look at that and you can see there's a whatsapp button let's move that up here so you've got some editing to do everything's customizable photo options screen same thing now this is the actual um, print layout screen i'm not bothered about printing so i'm going to delete that option this event is set to take two photos so i'll just make these a bit bigger That'll do. And as you can see, there's another WhatsApp option here. Let's stick that there. Okay. And we've also got these two new screens, WhatsApp number and send to WhatsApp. Let's have a look at WhatsApp number. Again, it's fully customizable. Let's make this keypad a bit bigger. Maybe have black numbers. So on this screen, the user will have to enter in their mobile number for their WhatsApp account, and then they hit this button. I'm going to change that actually to be original. Let's make it a bit bigger. You can obviously edit these if you want, put them wherever you like. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, the next screen is very important. So this is the send to WhatsApp screen. And by default, Rightbooth has placed a web browser item in the middle of the screen. And it's showing the chat window in the WhatsApp web account that you've associated in the settings. So the phone number that you entered into settings is the chat window that we've got here. And the reason for that is because in the editor, you want to have an active chat window so that you can size, position, get things right in your screen design. So right now, what I'm looking at here is my own chat window from my own WhatsApp account. So the purpose of this screen is to allow your users to drag and drop their photos or their video into this window. Now, this animated GIF item has been added as well by Rightbooth automatically, which is meant to show the user what they want to do on this screen. And there's also this text message as well. So they drag their items into this panel and then they hit the green button that appears. And by hitting the green button, the user will be able to send their videos or photos up to their WhatsApp account. So you may wish to keep that. So how will it look when they play the event? Well, you can check that here by using the test browser. So turn on test browser and drag this test image onto here. And this is how it will work when you're playing the event. And notice now that this button appears to allow them to send their photo up to their WhatsApp account. Let me just remove that photo again and we come back to the chat window. And you can add multiple ones. Again, let's do that. I'll drag it in once. Let me drag it in twice and you can see they're stacking up along the bottom. So that's what will happen when they drag these placeholders in when the event is playing. Let me just remove these again. So over to the placeholders then. All right, Booth has added lots of placeholders. We've actually got this one, which is a latest animation placeholder. That's for animated GIFs. This one is for karaoke's. This one is the current video, which means it's the video recording that has been made in this event. And this one is the print layout. Well, some of these we're not interested in, so I'm going to move them over here just to keep them out of the way, really. So I'm not interested in the print layout because this event doesn't have printing. I'm interested in the current video because that's one of the options on my choose recording event screen. We don't have animation 
or animated GIFs and I don't have video recording for karaoke's. So I'm just leaving them over there. I mean, you, you might be asking, why don't you delete them? Well, I can't. Rightmove won't let me. Because if you change the event design, you might need to include those later. But what will happen when the event plays is that these three won't be shown in this event, only these as and when necessary. So we've got photo one, photo two, and the current video recording. So you might want to just position these, size them, make them, put them where you want. So these will contain the photos and that will contain the video when the event is playing. Now, another thing you need to be aware of is the web browser item. Let me just turn this off to allow me to interact with this. Selecting the web browser item, you will notice that there are some crop values here. This is new in version 7.9. Now, Rightbooth automatically has applied a crop to this web browser item. So you might be asking what that's all about. Well, let me turn the crop off. And that's what it looks like without cropping on. And you can see all my chats on my personal account. And you can see the information about me across the top. Now, that's not the sort of information that you want to show to your users when they are using your WhatsApp account for sending photos to themselves. So the idea behind the crop is to take the left hand edge and the top edge away from view. Let me turn this back on. Now, if I just reduce this, watch what happens. You can see that the chat list is starting to appear again as this gets smaller. So what you need to do on your system is to make sure that you are hiding the window for the chats by cropping the left hand edge and you are also hiding the top part of WhatsApp web for your personal details so that the users don't see these things. Now on my system here, these values are 4, 10 and 58. Now you may find that these values alter on your system, especially when you start resizing this. I don't know if you can see that, but as I'm resizing, the left hand edge is occasionally showing the chat window. So you may need to modify these two values to suit your screen layout. As you can see there, look, we've got a slight visibility there. So let me just increase that a little bit more. Okay. So just to say that you need to hide the left and the top edges of the WhatsApp web browser. Okay, there are some other things down here that you might want to hide. This is the attach option for putting other objects into uh, this window. You probably don't want the users to be able to access these two items. Now, unfortunately, the only way to hide these is to add an item on top of it. So let's do that. I'm going to use a shape. I'll position it down over the top of those two icons. And I'm going to change its color to match the background. Okay, that's probably near enough. So you've hidden those two options from view so users won't have access to them. There's one over here as well. Unfortunately, you can't mask that one off because when you switch between this view and this view, this button needs to remain visible. So just leave the microphone on showing it. You won't have any problems with it. If they hit this, you get this message and all they can do is click that. So that's not going to cause you any problems. And that's about it. So obviously you can design this screen however you want. You can change the messages. You can put these wherever you like. You can make the size of this different. You can get rid of this animation. So it's entirely up to you how you design this screen. Okay, so let's have a go at playing the event. I'll start with photos, number one. 
Number two. Onto the photo option screen, and I'm going to choose WhatsApp. I can now enter any WhatsApp mobile number. It doesn't have to be my personal one. It can be any number whatsoever. Rightmove is going to be using my personal WhatsApp to allow the guests to send it to their WhatsApp account. For this example, I'm just still going to use my own mobile number. So in actual fact, what I will be doing here is using my own WhatsApp account to send photos to my own WhatsApp account. But in your case, the guests would put their own number in here. And then hit the send button. So as you can see here, the two photos are on the left hand side. The rest of the placeholders are not visible. So the one for video is not here and the ones for karaoke and print layouts and so on are also not here. If you want to include those, you can go back into the event designer and add the options for printing and so on. But right now I've just got my two photos. So I'm going to drag photo number one in and photo number two in. And I'm going to send them and watch what happens on my phone. You can see that I've received a message here. Let's have a look at it. And there they are. So the photos have been uploaded from right booth on the PC to my WhatsApp account and I can see them on my phone instantly. Let's go back and try a video this time. Quick video recording. One, two, three. It's converting it to an MPEG. One, two, three. Click the WhatsApp button. Enter my mobile number for my WhatsApp. One, two, three. I'm back to this panel. One, two, three. One, two, Let's drag three. it in. One, two, three. There's no preview for this, unfortunately. But we send it. One, two, three. Video's gone straight to my One, phone. Two, three. Let me play it on my phone. One, two, three. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you. Let's go into the editor. Let's have a look at send to WhatsApp screen. Again, I'm going to test this. I'm just going to drag, drag this in here. Now, Notice up here, there are some editing options that the WhatsApp web app provides the users. And you can make use of these if you wish. So you can draw on here, change colors and so on. You can also add stickers. Now you may not want to allow your users access to that. If you don't want to allow users access to that, you have to add more cropping. So let me just turn this testing off go to properties and now I can increase the top crop to hide those editing options. So if you don't want users to access those editing features, just add more cropping to your web browser item. And that's everything to do with WhatsApp in Rightmove. A little bit complicated, but it's very flexible. You can design your screens exactly as you want. You can use one WhatsApp account so that every user can send their photos and videos through your WhatsApp account to their WhatsApp account. And it's all part of the event flow in Rightmove. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.